All right, this right here just shows how perverted and wicked the Roman Catholic Church is. 80% of priests in the Vatican are gay. Sodomites is the Bible word, but are gay according to new book. This is, I mean, this is just shocking. For uh, Christ Church, they sure do have a lot of sex perverts in their uh, little cult out there in Rome. A large majority of priests in the Vatican are gay. Although many are not sexually active, a new book claims. A total of about 80% of the most revered clerics clerics in the Catholic Church are homosexual. You know, sodomite. Again, the, the biblical term is sodomite, not homosexual. These are politically correct, you know, queer terms. Uh, despite the Church's opposition to sodomite rights, according to the extensively researched book by French journalist Frédéric Martel, Sodomite priests adhere to an uh, unspoken code called the closet, where it is understood that, for instance, a cardinal or bishop den who denounces homosexuality is likely to be gay, according to the book, in closet of the Vatican. Or says it more is, is more likely to be gay. In a controversial claim, the book is that uh, Colombian cardinal Alfonso, I can't say the guy's name, Lopez, uh, weird last name, defended, defended the church's position on homosexuality while hiring male prostitutes. Well, that's nice. You see, again, this is how immoral the Roman Catholic Church is. They claim, yeah, we're against, you know, sodomite rights, yet their church is filled with a bunch of sodomite perverts, a bunch of sodomite sex perverts, freaks. You know, it's disgusting. The author said he conducted 1,500 interviews with 41 cardinals, 52 bishops, and, uh, what? Monsignors? What? And 45 papal ambassadors? You see, the Roman Catholic Church is a state. They're a religious uh, system, but they're also a state. That's why they have papal ambassadors. I mean, why does a religion need ambassadors? It's because the Catholic Church is a state. It's a state church. You know, uh, they are the harlot described in Revelation chapter 17. 11 Swiss guards and more than 200 priests and Semeranians. Whatever. Kind of sounds like the uh, pagan god Semiranus, but getting ahead of myself. So again, you know, and they wrote down here, the book attempts to expose clerical culture of secrecy and the double lives of the priests. Amen, you know. Uh, whoever wrote this book, they're correct. I mean, the Catholic priesthood is just rampant with pedophilia and, and just just rape and, and sodomy and all this other disgusting garbage. So, again, just more evidence that the Roman Catholic Church is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth in Revelation 17 and 18. You see, because uh, if the Catholic Church was truly Christ's church, uh, they would not even allow a filthy sodomite to even be a member of the church, let alone be a, a cleric, you know, a, a preacher in the church. It's just disgusting. The Roman Catholic Church, I'll say it again, you know, if you read Revelation 17 and 18, uh, where is it? talks about the great prostitute and the beast, you know, go down, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you can read it yourself, but in Revelation 17, 18, it talks about how the Roman Catholic Church is the uh, mother of harlots, where is that verse? Here it is, Revelation 17, verse 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery of Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, God calls sodomy an abomination, let me show you that. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Uh, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. You see, God calls these, these uh, disgusting act of sodomy, he calls it an abomination. These dirty sodomite sex perverts shouldn't even be members of a church, let alone be clerics. Disgusting. So, again, if you're not convinced Roman Catholicism is the mother of abominations, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how to help you. Uh, these disgusting, dirty sodomite freaks uh, being allowed in the church is probably what's leading to so much pedophilia because sodomites are prone to be pedophiles. So, anyway, getting ahead of myself. Um, God bless you. Goodbye.